Now we will go to question number 6. Set squared plus set plus 1 is equal to 0. Then you read this. What must come to your mind? The roots of these equations are say omega, omega squared. And also the result 1 plus omega plus omega squared equal to 0 and omega cube equal to say 1. This result must come to your mind. Now keeping this in mind, we will evaluate bracket by bracket. That is set plus 1 by set the whole squared. This will be equal to say omega plus 1 by omega the whole squared. This is nothing but omega multiplied by this omega squared on both sides. Say omega squared, this will be omega cube which is equal to 1 the whole square that is equal to minus 1 the whole square is equal to 1. The first bracket is equal to say 1. In the same way, the second bracket set square plus 1 by set square the whole square will be equal to say omega square plus 1 by say omega square the whole square. Therefore, set square plus 1 by set square the whole square will be equal to in the same way if we multiply by omega on both sides the denominator will be omega cube which is equal to 1 therefore omega square plus omega the whole square or that is equal to say minus 1 the whole square or that is equal to plus 1. Now the third term will be a little different that is set cube plus 1 by set cube the whole square. This will be equal to say omega cube plus 1 by omega cube. Omega cube is equal to 1. Therefore, this will be 1 plus 1 will be equal to 2 and square that will be equal to 4. Set to the power of 4 as usual will be equal to 1. Set to the power of 5 as usual will be equal to 1. Set to the power of 6 will be 2 squared, that will be equal to say 4. Adding up all those things, we get the right hand side to be reduced to be say 12. Therefore, choice 2 is the correct answer.